Configure the color palette in Draw.io. Making your corporate colors available by default in the color palette will help users create diagrams in your company's official style faster and more reliably. There are three different color sets you can customize. Preset colors, changes the colors in the top color palette. Default colors, changes the colors in the lower large color palette. Default color schemes, changes the colors that are available at the top of the format panel, usually used to quickly style shapes. Preset colors. Let's change the colors in the top two rows of the color palette first. To change these colors, you have to go to the Confluence Administration section. Search for Draw I.O. in the left-hand panel and click on Add-on Configuration. Under the Add-on Configuration tab, go to the UI Configuration field. Here you can add your list of colors using the format shown. This is also written in the YouTube video description. Change the default preset color values and add the hex values of your colors, then click Save. Remember, to change even a single color, you must include all the hex values of the palette. Back in Draw I.O., you can see the changes we have made. Default Colors Now let's change the colors in the lower large color palette. Add the code to configure the large palette's default colors. And again, you must include all the hex values for the entire palette, even if you want to change just one color. Change their hex values and click Save. Back in Draw I.O., you can see the new colors in our palette. Default Color Schemes Editing the default color schemes changes the colors that are available at the top of the format panel, usually used to quickly style shapes. If you change the default color schemes, make sure you add a leading hashtag to the color codes, and note that they consist of two parts. One code is for the fill color, and one for the border. You can add as many color schemes as you like. We have created three blocks with eight color schemes in each block. If you want more information or to see the color codes we have used, click on the question mark icon. Back in diagram edit mode, we can use all our new styles and colors.